Yeah, g'day. Ah, uh, it's getting back to the tub there today. Gonna knock this, um, cut this frame out and just knock this up to give it a bit of rigidity when I was lifting the tub on and off to sandblast it. So yeah, first step, take that out. Then I'm gonna um, stand these up, stand the internal walls up and put the front and the, um, the rear structure in, make the box, weld it up. And yeah, start going from there, start welding everything else out, work out what I'm doing with the wheel tubs and the floor. Yeah, already as you can see, yeah, I've taken that um that inner structure out, that that frame I had for lifting this thing. I've um stood these sides up. They're all um they're all squared and leveled. Um that side as well. What I'm gonna do now is um cut the front and um get that all squared up, get the um sides welded to the front and then um yeah, get this bit in here, lock that down, put the back in, lock that down. And um, once I get that done, I'll um, look at stitching this back panel in and then building the piece from there down. And then from there, it's sort of, I'm going to build a roll pan that goes underneath. Yeah, first things first, I'll get that, um, like the inner structure on the front edge of the, cat, of the um, tub they put in and yeah, we'll go from there. Alrighty, yeah, so I got this front panel um, pretty much good to go. Got the um, front edge trimmed down to height. Got the sides done. So I'll um, go ahead, weld this, take this into position. And as you can see, like I'm going to have a fill panel up the top here. And then either strip down the side. I was thinking about quartering exhaust pipe and having that as a rounded, rounded edge. Or just cut a flat panel and run it down there. Not sure yet. I'll get this tacked in and um, yeah, play around a few ideas and see what I think. All right, I've got this um, front bit tacked in. As you can see, got the front edge yeah tacked up to it. It's all squared up, leveled up. So now I'll probably make some templates for these fill plates. Get both of them welded in, lock these two together, and then yeah, work out what I'm going to do with this bit um, in the corner here. And yeah, we'll go from there. Then we'll work on the back panel.
Okay, I'm up to this back panel part now, so what I'm gonna do is, um, yeah, cut the tack welds out of this, take this back panel back out, and I've sort of just roughly, roughly scribed the, um, the angle that I want that end fill plate to be. So yeah, I'll, I'll mark that out accurate, double it up, do it on that side, build that in, and then I've, um, I've cut the bottom for this. Just gonna stitch that on there for now until I work out the bottom the bottom side for the roll pin and yeah I'll get it back in and see how she looks. Rightio, yeah, so I've got um, I've got a bit more done on the back end here. I um I've cut and uh got filling plates on the end there on that angle like I was saying. Um yeah, no I'm definitely liking the way it's looking. And I've got this um middle section at the back here sat on there it's too long uh i just sat on there to sort of work out what i'm doing i'm sort out of crossroads here i'm gonna finish it off whether i um yeah do a full roll pan on it or um i think i'm just cutting it on that line and um yeah just folding it under and just leaving an inch like putting an inch um flat on the bottom of it just to finish it from all the way across like under the the back all the way around just put a little tab all the way across undecided yet but um yeah that's where the number plate goes i'm actually going to recess it a little bit so the plate's actually going to be yeah inside that flat panel so yeah no I'm, it's come along pretty good pretty happy with it obviously it's all just tacked in there at the moment nothing's fully welded out but just getting it together and getting a, getting the design happening um yeah, so that's the the sides and the front, like we had there before. And yeah, I just got to do these, do the bits in the corner. And then, yeah, once I've decided what I'm doing with the back, do the same on the back bit. And yeah, then move on to the sides, do the filling bit in here. And yeah, just start all welding her out, get the tail lights mounted in there properly. And yeah, keep going. And it's just a walk around of the progress so far.